Hello again, fellow space engineers. We are continuing our large grid ship testing, mainly testing the Nyad Corvette design against various types of ships. And today we have kind of like an ultimate test, which is a capital ship on my left. There on the left of the screen, we have the Oki battleship, which is a design from the workshop uh, created by he who has many deaths and on the right side we also have um, like his uh, companion creation which is the imperial frigate and as you can see it fits the rule um, size class uh, weaponry each of them fits the rule this one reminds me of uh, space battleship Yamato the uh, kind of like throwback look to a, a gun cruiser gun battleship of the mid 20th century. So, okay, let's begin the test by letting the invader script take over of the frigate and then we'll do the cruiser, the battleship, sorry. Okay, we are in the crew compartment of the Nyad and there's Sokonet. And yeah, it's kind of like a tiny, <laughs> yeah, a tiny mess hall with two uh, bathroom. Uh, toilets and two bunk beds. We get a nice uh, view of the outside as the action occurs. So let's begin the test. Okay, base in the frigate. Let's see how far away. Let's do, yeah, two clicks, that's fine. Get on our seat and go. Hopefully it's not going to be too laggy. You can always use a spectator camera, but let's see. I'm going to get like a almost first person perspective of Sokonen's tactics. He's going to try to do a, a rear approach because that's the weak, uh, the weak arc of the frigate. Let's use the spectator. So the frigate is almost two clicks away again. Approaching for re-engagement and shooting out the one twenty-two millimeter guns at the Naya. Now those guns have a maximum targeting range of eight hundred meters, but they can fire a bit further away. And as you can see, the frigate is way more agile than the destroyer that we previously uh, engaged. But still, not as agile as the Nyad. Whoa. Lost the survey. Denial has more, um, let's call it like firepower in the in the way of <coughs> overwhelming the turrets. So it's gonna disarm the frigate faster than the frigate can disarm the Nyad. As you can see here, the frigate not only has only one working 23 mm defense. Gun. been silenced. Oh, not yet. Spoke too soon. It's really interesting to see how the Nyad can basically fly in circles around it. He has one remaining. Oh, the rear gun. Still active. Is 
missing pieces. Now, the invader script uh, tries to face the opponent, but I think that's going to be counterproductive because it's only serviceable again is in the app section. Looks like, yeah, we tore her open. But the cockpit is still active, so... She keeps shooting at us. Taking definitely more damage than the destroyer. Mostly due to the frigate being more agile. Okay, the frigate's been disarmed. Now, if this was like a real engagement, uh, at this point the frigate would have jumped away. see how it is still intact, like, um, you know, engines and thrusters wise, it's like, oh, no, spoke too soon again. The starboard engine itself is completely hollow now. Fortunately for the frigate, the CIC is underneath the bridge, so can be still commanded from there. Well, at this point, we can safely assume that the, the Nyad won the engagement again. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gone. Fire, yeah, okay. So, tore the bridge open, and this is where the control seat was, and this is the other one. Oh no, sorry, this is where the, con the navigation bridge control seat was, and this is the CIC one. And as you can see, both of them were destroyed eventually after. A protracted fight. Let's look at the Nyad. Wow. Loss of armor plating. Hold bridge. The engineering compartment. And I am actually hanging with my feet in the air. Well, in the vacuum space. Wow. I guess I'm lucky I'm not dead. Wow. Tore an entire hole here. Somebody's talking to me in Steam. Okay. Remote control still working. Med bay is gone. The cryobot is intact. Fortunately for us, we still have the jump drive. Lost one of the main engines. Clip the Nyad has a lot of redundancies on that aspect. Control seats are both well protected behind the forward bow armor and also apparently serviced well, not serviced by the welder, but close enough. Okay, now let's try this again. The this against the the battleship 